I'm here at Red Hat Summit with Michael St. John, and I'm curious, what are some of the things that you, you've seen here at the show so far? Hey, Jake. Thanks. Uh, yeah, it's been a, a really wonderful show. You know, we've had uh, like 8,500 people here, some great conversations on, uh, on the floor and meetings with partners and customers. Uh, just a, a wonderful show and beautiful, uh, beautiful weather here in Boston as well as here. That's this great. is great springtime weather. Absolutely. So, so what are the things that, when of those 8,500 people, what are the things that they're talking to you about? Yeah, while you're some here? of the conversations we've been having. Uh, you know, it's if you look at some of the key trends, right? One of the things that we look at is uh, the expansion of data, and everybody's been talking about this for years. But you know, from in the past 10 years, since you know 2010, there was less than a zettabyte of data footprint worldwide. Today, we're looking at over 33 zettabytes of data. I don't That's even know how to visualize huge. that. Yeah, so a, a zettabyte is essentially is a billion uh, gigabytes. So if you can visualize a gigabyte, a billion gigabytes, over 33 zettabytes of data uh, out there today. And yet, only about 2% of that data is being enacted on. So we're, we're gathering so, lots of data and doing nothing with it? Well, yeah, I mean, a lot of it's coming from IoT. A lot of it's coming from new workloads that, that are out there as well. But if you look at, you know, a lot of the customers that we that we work with, you know, their their jobs are essentially dedicated to being able to farm all of this data and be having the portability of those applications as well. And the more agile they are, uh, the better off their companies will be or their organizations will be. They're, they're driving essentially uh, all of the, dif the uh, organizational differentiation and disrupting their industries. So what kind of workloads are these people at looking at using? With data analytics, traditionally how people built that out is to build out a, a, a data analytics cluster. It, it grows, it expands very, very well, but you can't really decouple uh, the compute from the storage. And that's fine if you have a number of data analysts that are, that are working against uh, that particular data set. But as, as we see, you know, uh, companies or organizations are getting a lot of great information from that. What they've seen is over time they start to have contention between those resources as they're adding more and more people to enact on that data set. So they can grow that larger. Or what a lot of people have done is they've uh, tried to do something where they start to do workload isolation. So they build out inde independent clusters for each one of the uh, lines of business or data, data analysts that, that are out there. So, so they're taking like the same set of data and they're, and they're putting it in like 10 or 20 configurations. And, and this, this becomes a problem because if this data analyst and that data analyst both need access to the same data and they're in different clusters, you, you have to copy over and rehydrate that data set. It also um, makes you more susceptible to user error, right? Because you, you have to copy over this, this data, keep it in sync. Well, yeah, I would say it might be, it might be in, you know, like two days old in this spot and only one day mm -hmm. old in this spot and real time in this other spot. Yeah, and so, you know, what we've been working with a lot of customers on, we've been doing some proofs of concepts, we have uh, some, some customers who are live as well, is doing that workload isolation. You know, we've, we've done it in, in a few different ways. We've done it with OpenStack. Uh, we've done it with, uh, now a lot, with uh, OpenShift. Uh, doing that, uh, being able to uh, isolate those multi-tenant workloads and then at the same time offering a shared data context with Ceph Storage. And uh, that gives a, a very elegant solution so that people have that access to that one data set. Uh, it, it's, uh, you know, it grows as, as you're bringing in and ingesting additional data, but you don't have to copy those over. So it's a, a great solution uh, in and of itself, and now as more emerging workloads are coming, uh, coming about as well, we're working a lot with our Open Data Hub uh, team to work w around machine learning and artificial intelligence type workloads with customers out there as well. So we've got great solutions that are going on around that, uh, around that particular workload experience. It delves into some of the other things that we're doing around OpenShift and, uh, and around hyperconvergence as well. I look forward to seeing what yeah. else comes next. Absolutely. Thanks right. a lot, Jake. Thanks, Michael.